In this video, I am going to teach you how to start intermittent fasting. This is designed for complete beginners, somebody who has never done any fasting, maybe has tried once or twice. I'm going to cover how to start, what day one is going to look like. Phases 1, 2, and 3, which are 16 hours of fasting to more than 24 hours of fasting and working out while you are fasting. My name is Junior Gupta. I started research in 2008 on diabetes reversal. Along the way, I've also researched a lot about cardiac disease reversal, fatty liver reversal, and treating obesity as a hormonal situation. I've presented at some of the leading hospitals, Medanta, Max, Fortis, Escorts. I've presented at conferences. I have presented typically to the head of departments, to the directors and the chairmen of the facilities. Everything I do is research-based. What's the latest science out there? What's the best published books? What's the leading uh, clinical studies out there? And I'm trying to bring all this to you to help you change your life. I'm giving you my opinions on YouTube. Please be responsible for your own medical and health decisions. How to start? Pick a day. That's the first step. And I recommend either picking a Friday, the start of your weekend, or a Monday. And it doesn't matter. It can be a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Just pick a day and get started. It's going to be challenging no matter which day is your first fasting day. And that's okay. Hopefully this video is going to help you, right? The way you start is you're going to push back your breakfast. So if you have breakfast at 8 a.m., Try and push it to 8.30 or 9. Push it as far as you can that you're comfortable with. You're going to face some challenges on day one. The first thing, as with anything new, is you are going to be unsure. You know, yes, you make a plan of pushing your breakfast back by one hour. But what do you do then? What do you eat? What can you not eat? What do you drink? That's, then that's okay. It's okay if you are unsure. Post your things on social media if you like. And people will give you a lot of advice. I also did that, but you will be unsure. And hunger, I think the biggest thing on day one is dealing with hunger. You will be hungry. You're not used to sustaining hunger. You're used to eliminating hunger. But on fasting days, you want to push your hunger. You want to sustain. That is going to be a challenge. Things that you will need, and I highly recommend them, is green tea or black coffee. These are hunger suppressants. I drank black coffee for the first time when I started intermittent fasting and it was great. It really helped me suppress my hunger. I had black coffee with nuts and that's what helped me kind of push through another hour, hour and a half. Then I had a second cup of black coffee and again some nuts and it helped me push a little longer. If you don't like black coffee, have green tea, have bulletproof coffee. You can YouTube that and have any nuts or seeds. The ideal nuts and seeds are walnuts, macadamia nuts, and Brazil nuts. I started with cashews and almonds because that's what I had. So start with anything. You're going to need to motivate yourself. When you are hungry, you're going to need to talk yourself into sustaining it. These are things that I've used. I can do it. I can do it. This is for my betterment. I have started this to improve myself. This is for my betterment. Bring it on. Okay? It's you against me. Bring it on. Be the change you want to see. Sorry, I'm laughing because not one of them works. You have to cycle through them. Be the change you want to see. Do you want to see the change? Yes. Well, be the change. You have to change first to see the new you or the new change. And the last one is 10 more minutes. Can I just do 10 more minutes? Can I push this snack back 10 more minutes? Can I push this breakfast back 10 more minutes? 10 more minutes and repeat that after 10 minutes. So these are the motivators. You're going to need your own. If you have some good ones, please put it in the comments. I would love to hear that. How do you improve from your first day? The first thing I found was I started pushing my dinner earlier. I found that having an early dinner was easier, 
because the next day I have to go hungry for less amount of time. So push back your, push early, prepone your dinner. I upgraded my nut selection over time, so better for intermittent fasting uh, as per the theories. I have another video on intermittent fasting on the benefits. If you want to click it, just do that. Uh, I had more selection of green teas and more coffees, like I had a French press. So do things that makes, makes them fun and the way you like it. And keep pushing your breakfast, uh, keep pushing it ahead. Eventually you may even skip breakfast and go straight to lunch. Phase one, two and three, what are they? Phase one, I call it getting to 16 hours with support. You want to move from phase one to phase two, which is getting to 16 hours without any nuts and seeds. That's your ideal state. You want to be able to get to 16 hours on just green tea or black coffee. That is getting to phase two. In phase three, get to 22 hours or more of fasting. And why do I say that? If your max is 16 hours, 16 hours will be very hard. But if your max is 22 hours, 16 hours being, be, becomes a lot easier. And this 22 hours is your stepping stone for getting to daily fasting of 16 hours, for when you are traveling, being able to maintain your fasting when you are traveling, for uh, medical healing. So if you have fatty liver, the more you fast, the faster your liver will heal. Uh, if you want to do genetic clean, cleansing, like the, what we call uh, autophagy, if you want the benefits of that, then longer fasting is going to help. The key thing you want to know if you're going to do 20 hours or longer is you need salt. Your body doesn't need food, but it needs salt. So take salt as I have mentioned here, and that'll help you not feel so washed out when you are fasting. Last thing, workouts and fasting. The first time I worked out when I was fasting, I felt lightheaded after 15 minutes. Now that's not good. So you want to go slow. You want to work out slowly and you want to increase your minutes as you build your experience. Eventually I was able to do my full workout and you can too. Just go slow, let your body get adapted to all of these things. What do I recommend? After having done a lot of workouts, I'll recommend to move your strength training if you're trying to gain muscle after you've eaten food. But endurance training, long cycling, stuff like that you can do while you're fasted. It's gonna be better for your fat burning. So this is the breakup cardio, high intensity interval training. See how you feel and go from there. The company I founded is called Life Heal and our mission is to prevent and reverse metabolic disease. I'm making these videos to help further that mission. If you have any situation or conditions that you want some counseling on, we do provide that. The WhatsApp and the email links are in the video description below. I do hope this video was helpful and beneficial for you. If it was, please hit like.